All right, are you killing your home with kindness? From excessive cleaning to constant repainting, you may be doing your house a little more harm than good. Kevin O'Connor is the host of This Old House, and he's here to keep you from becoming a home wrecker in a different way. Kevin, good morning. We're not going to shake hands because no. we're both recovering. How you, you doing? Very well, and you? So I'm doing fine, thanks. So it is possible to love our homes too much? So here's advice everyone could get behind. Fewer chores at home? Not that bad. sounds good, right? Right. Okay, so let's start with paint. All right, if I see a door like that, I'm going to repaint it. Well, because it looks terrible, right? right? But a new coat of paint isn't always your friend. Paint doesn't want to get brittle. It wants to stay flexible. So going over this paint with some new paint, that's a problem. Is it okay if you take the paint completely down to the wood and then start from scratch? Scrape it, sand it, and then absolutely that's the time when you actually go and repaint. So what you're saying is touch-ups aren't necessarily good. Starting from scratch is probably better. Well, touch-ups can be okay, but just don't go over the bad stuff. Do right. good prep, small little touch-ups, or get a clean surface and do a full new paint, paint job. New paint over brittle paint, not going to work. You got it, absolutely. All right, let's talk about insulation. If you own an old home, probably it was built without the proper or adequate amount of insulation Correct. by today's standards. Absolutely. Insulation is great. Too, bit, too much insulation is not a good thing. This is fiberglass. This is cellulose batting. If you're feeling cold, you're going to want to put more insulation in the house. That's a great idea. But here's a problem. Come on over to my dollhouse, Matt. Okay. All right. I didn't know you had a dollhouse. I do. House, but well, we've got every kind of house on okay. our show. So uh, some houses are designed to have the attic vented. So right here is the soffit, and mm -hmm. in the soffit can be vents. That allows in fresh air. It rises up to the rafters, and it could come out of ridge vent or gable vents, and that's a good thing. All right, but the insulation would go right here in the attic. So it would cover the vents? If you go too far up with too much insulation, cover the vents, you can choke down that attic. That could lead to mold. It can actually exacerbate ice dams. So, so insulation's it, good, but do it right. Too much of a good thing, not good. We exactly. do, however, want to seal Absolutely. air leaks. Sure, and they're all over the house. This is just as important as insulating. There are pipes and wires coming through walls and floors and ceilings, and each one of those pipes and wires comes through a hole. Right. That's where conditioned air can come up through, out of the conditioned space, and into spaces where you don't need it. So here's a can of sealer from the home center. You got that? Go ahead. We're going to spray it right in there. If you fill up these holes, looks a little messy, but remember, this is going to be in the attic or the basement. You can actually seal all those penetrations. And you can leave that behind. It doesn't matter doesn't if it matter. stays it's like that. It's going to look like that. You're fine. Much more efficiency in the house. Efficiency and comfort. Okay. All right. Now, cleaning windows <laughs> and mirrors. How is it possible? Get to work, pal. How is it possible <laughs> to clean a mirror? Or too much. All right. Well, so a mirror has. Go ahead, spray it on there. Right. A mirror has glass, but behind it, it has a reflective surface. That's silver back there. Yeah. Well, that cleaner that you just put on there could have ammonia or vinegar, which can be aggressive. And if it gets behind the frame, it can attack that silver backing. You can get that black edge. So you're not a fan of this. Well, if you're going to use that, I would say spray it onto the rag and then clean, as opposed to spraying it on the glass and having it go behind. That makes sense. Or you can just use a lint-free cloth with warm water and do your cleaning that way. What about the people who say they just use newspaper on windows and mirrors? God bless them. Does it work? <laughs> yeah, sure it does. Yeah? So long as it, it, there's not that much dirt on the, on the windows, on the glass. So as long as you get it off, that's okay. Professional guys use newspapers all the time. All right, Kevin, take me over to the tiles here. You okay. find people who get obsessive about the tiles. They want them to always look clean. Absolutely. And a lot of the times, they'll treat them so they seal them and nothing can get on them. Seal them like crazy. Now, right. sealing is a good idea, but too much sealing, that's a problem. It can actually make the, uh, the granite or the marble, it can look dull and streaky. So oversealing is a problem. What you want to do is you want to find out if the stone needs to be sealed. Here's an easy test. Okay. We put some water on this piece of marble right here, and you can see on this side is a little darker. That's because the marble, the water has absorbed into the marble. Here it's brighter. That means that this needs to be sealed. Okay. Over here, this granite, this doesn't need to be sealed because there's no difference between between where the water is and isn't. So in this case, we would say seal it. As a rule of thumb, how often would you end up sealing there tile like this or stone like there this? There isn't necessarily a rule of thumb. That's the thing. Three months or a year, but what we would suggest is drop the water on there, leave it for a half hour, see if it soaks in. If it doesn't, you're good to go. Good information. All right, hope you feel, feel better. better. You too, as always. Kevin O'Connor. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.